Here's the last example again using Coulomb's law. We're looking for net electric force. The biggest difference between example 5 and 6 is now we've got these things 90 degrees to each other. So you can't just add or subtract. The way that you add vectors that are perpendicular to each other is to use Pythagoras theorem. So you get some more practice like we were using in momentum on how to add vectors perpendicular to each other. If these things were at angles to each other, you would have to find the components, just like we were doing in those two-dimensional momentum questions. Now they typically don't do, or at least on diplomas, I don't see these things done at angles to each other. It's typically been right angles where you just have to use Pythagoras theorem, but there's nothing saying they don't they have to stick to right angles. They could be at angles just like the momentum questions would be. So again, consider these, they're each the same size of a charge, and what we want to do is we want to figure out what would the net force be on these two objects. Well, again, deal with them individually. If you just considered A, because they're both positively charged, A would push B straight down. If you consider just C, C would push B to the left. So what we want to do is we want to kind of figure out what the net electric force would be by taking these two vectors tail to tip and finding the resulting vector. So if we drew the force from A, and I'll do this at the top here, and we'll do the calculation on the next page. So this was the force from A. C should be a little bit less because it's farther away. So the force on C. So our resulting vector, our net force, should be using Pythagoras theorem and again if we're going to state the magnitude we also should be stating its direction so what we have to do is find the force from A find the force from C use Pythagoras theorem to find the net force then use trig to find our angle and I'll do that on the next slide So let's start with finding the force from, I'm going to find these separately because it's quite difficult to do a big substitution in the Pythagoras theorem. You could do this all in one step as you want. I just don't want to lose anyone along the way. So if we found the electric force from A, it's going to equal to K, QA, QB. QA, QB over R, A, B squared. And again, I'm going to leave out the units just to make this a little easier to work with. 8.99 times 10 to the 9. The charge on A and B are again the same. 3.72 microcoulombs. So I can go 3.72 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. Whoops, I did put my units in there. Too used to it. Squared, divide by the distance between them, which was 0.165 meters. 0 0.165 meters squared. Punch that in on your calculator and leave it to as many places as possible. 8.99 to the exponent 9 times, again, make sure you bracket 3.72 to the exponent negative 6 squared divided by 0.165 squared. I typically see students do the substitution right, but make a mistake in their punching in the calculator. So I get 4.5. Six six newtons. Actually, it's five 
seven zero. If I can, wish I had an eraser on this thing. I do have a eraser. So four point five seven zero newtons. Let's calculate the force from C. It's going to equal to again K QC QB over R C B squared. So it's eight point nine nine times ten to the nine. Charges were the same size, three point seven two times ten to the negative six squared. The distance is different, and this is 0 0.370, 0 0.370 squared. And let's work out what that force is. Three point seven two to the exponent negative six squared divided by point three seven zero squared and you get zero point nine oh nine newtons. Now what we want to do is we want to find the net force. So this will be equal to force of A squared, force of C squared, take the square root. So the net force will equal the 4.570 squared plus 0 0.909 squared take the square root of that result and plus I'm keeping the exact values by the way take the square root and you should get 4.66 six. Newtons. Now what we want to do is again figure out that angle. So if you again draw your triangle, we had 4.570 newtons down, 0 0.909 newtons to the west what we want to do is figure out what theta is. So if we go tan theta, that should be equal to 0 0.909 divided by 4.570 second function tan of that ratio should give you 11.2 degrees. And what we are is we are west of south as our angle. So just like we were doing with trig back in momentum, we can apply that with any vector we're applying it with force vectors now.